Welcome to This Old Boat. I'm Zach Blankenship and this is our current project, 1989 Chesapeake Bay Dead Rise built by the Walden Brothers of Deltaville, Virginia. The Dead Rise evolved from a sailing skipjack used by the watermen of the Chesapeake Bay and the tributaries, mostly for oystering, clamming, and crabbing. It, uh, the builders of the boats produced these with no plans. It was all done by eye and a feeling for the water and the way the boat would work with the water. They were always in competition with each other for a better boat, a bigger engine. They could get out to their fishing grounds faster. They could compete with each other and have fun. So, welcome to this project. As you can see, we've already started this project. The process of de-hardwaring, removing electronics, um, other aspects of planning have begun. And uh, I'd like to introduce you to Mike Malman, the owner of the boat. How you doing, Zach? Good, good. So, tell us a little bit about your vision for this boat, Mike. I want to make it like a cheese and wine boat. Something to go out, relax with the family, nice cruising around boat, a little fishing here and there. Uh-huh. So, this boat has a lot of damage from neglect and time to the housetop, the wheelhouse, cabin sides. What's the plan for dealing with that? Well, we're hoping to uh, cut the house off, cut the wheelhouse off, replace all the rotten wood from the, the gunnels up. And the gunnels being the transition from the deck to the vertical parts of the the. Correct. Okay. So, in this work, you also want to kind of update or modernize the appearance of the boat. And what uh, what would you like to see done with that? We'll get rid of the porthole on top rails on the, the house itself. That way we can have a nice sitting area, lounge area while you're cruising down the river. Get rid of the, the, the lower house, bring it up maybe six inches and replace all the rot and wood and bring a flare out on the top of the wheelhouse. Okay. And um, for part of the appearance, we were thinking maybe adding some bright work, uh, finished nice exotic wood to uh, dress the appearance up. Um, those details aren't present on this boat. Um, is that common or, or not for a, um, a work boat like this? A lot of the dead rises had a lot of bright work on it. It helped uh, bring along and see that they have a quality boat, that their boat's well maintained. Kind of like in the spirit of competition between the watermen. Correct. Okay. Good. So Mike, we're in the wheelhouse now and there's a lot of things that need to be done here. So. Give me an idea of what you're looking to, to transform this space into. Well, I was thinking about getting new countertops. So, you're thinking uh, stone probably wouldn't work on a boat, but maybe something like a, a solid surface as opposed to laminate? Yeah. Okay. That's, that's what I'm doing. So, um, it's, it's a pretty confined space. Are, is, you have plans to open it up? Is, is that a... Yeah, we're thinking about taking the, the head and instead of the door opening forward, is making it open to the starboard side. Okay. So, that would be out here or in the place it is now? It would be opening towards the starboard side of the boat instead of opening towards the bow. Okay. Just make it a lot easier to get in instead of having to come around. So with that, um, what about the, the windows and the, the, the glass and the trim that's all with that? Is What's the what's your idea and vision for that? Well, we're going to get rid of this chaser pipe to make it a little more cleaner when you look up here and then take the glass out and redo all the wood there. When we do the top but and that's the thing what kind of wood should we really use for the top well to modernize and reduce maintenance i think that we can change this overhead to a composite sandwich construction um, we'll gain overhead space you're going to be eliminating a lot of the wood which is maintenance in a boat um, and you're going to gain uh, all the benefits of the composites uh, with weight savings, which down the road transition into fuel savings for running the boat. Um, and then uh, just the overhead space and lightening the appearance up is, uh, is going to do a lot for you. It'll also give you the ability to possibly have larger windows if you would want to go that route. Um, so those are all things we could incorporate into the, the project. Um, so. As far as the, the helm area, what uh, what are you thinking you're going to have happen here? Well, hopefully, like I said, we get rid of the chaser pipe, clean the wood up, 
and get rid of the old electronics because it was outdated. Get right. Something a little monitor. Right. Uh, there was there was very large, cumbersome things hanging in the overhead here. Is it, what in the overhead space? Will there be electronics and equipment there again, or no, is that the more more boats to modernize? So just everything hidden. Okay. And that's what we're looking for to get rid of all the excess wires hanging down. I mean, you're going to have to see the windshield wipers, but that's that's mainly the only thing that needs to be seen when you first come in. Okay. Um, I imagine the new paint is going to be a, a big aspect of this project. Um, Sanding all the, the trim work around the windows, making everything look a lot brighter, cleaner, and you get rid of some of the older wood that has been neglected over the years. Uh -huh. And we had talked about um, previously um, lighting for the whole boat and we'll integrate new lighting into this space also um, what uh, I know you had mentioned that um, your, your wife was particularly interested in a, a feature that was here and we want to replicate that uh, can you tell us about that yeah we had uh, some lights underneath the, the, the front that access the walls when you came in there are little LED lights and then there was a, a beautiful stained glass in the door that had a lighthouse in it that the light light up so that helped accent the area it's, it's, it's soft it's not too bright mm -hmm. but then still have the feature of the whole inside to have led lights that you can have changeable colors that make it more of a party right for your for your your um your cheese and wine uh, aspect for the project um the stained glass was that original to, to the boat as far as i know it was okay so it'd be nice to to keep that original history um that was part of this so Mike, we're here in the, the forward V berth of the boat now, and um, we have started the deconstruction process and found the uh, targeted areas for repair. Um, so what's going on in here? Well, in the dead rise boat, they usually call this the booby, the most forward part of the boat. Interesting. And then you have your anchor locker and the forward part behind that panel. But as you can tell, that the, the wood rot is just tremendously bad because they did not glass it and they use plywood up top. Mm -hmm. I, that's what I want to do is modernize this so we don't have to worry about the maintenance of rotten wood again. And, and I like to get a little bit more height in there. Gee, so right. slump down yeah, a little this bit. Yeah, this is a pretty low overhead. Um, so this is a pretty typical construction for a work boat, but um, the, the idea of this boat is not to be used uh, for, for rough work um, like intended before. So we're going to change all of the appearance of that. Um, I, I see there's um, is it is it normal to, to have wire nuts in a boat? Is, that's uh, no, kind that's of concerning. A, yeah, that's definitely home repair work, but we're, we're going to have all that shrink wrapped, and if there is hopefully straight connections to it, not not splices. And okay. Um, I, and, and this hatch uh, you had mentioned when we were um, uh, above deck that this is going to go away. Yeah. Um, what uh, is, is that going to be replaced or it be something different there? Uh, no, the, I'd like to, like I said, take the whole top and make it one solid piece and then put a, a porthole on either side in the same spot and then put another one behind it. Because right now it only has one porthole, so it doesn't allow enough air in mm -hmm. going down the river. So if we had two portholes in it, we could have a little bit more airflow and don't have to worry about the the water getting in as you can see the steam right. and the beautiful cushions that were at one time were in good shape. Yep. Um, now is the the layout of this cabin, is it going to um, stay the same or are you going to modify that? We'll probably just clean the wood up, paint it, and uh, make it more of a, a yacht in here. So when you come uh -huh. in here and look, it more looks elegant, you know, with the stained glass window, that'll right. help out. And then maybe some nice wood here and some LED lights inside. Uh -huh. for, to give it a little pop because it's right now it's just plain and it needs it needs some help. Okay, Mike, thank you for uh, trusting us with your boat and um, giving us the opportunity to undertake this exciting project. Um, I think that uh, when we get into it next time, uh, cutting the house top and lifting it off with the travel lift is is really going to be amazing. We'll see um, we'll be able to see inside from the top what uh, what we're really dealing with. So, um, what's your thoughts? I appreciate you uh, taking the time to get the work done. It's a pleasure of doing business, and hopefully Zach will get it done in the next couple months. Well, it's uh, like most boat projects. We'll, uh, we'll pull the top off and see what happens. So, um, let's get to it.